Let go of it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, this is gonna be weird to explain, I feel like. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so there is a friend of mine who has a brown recluse infestation. And one day she came across this female who was sitting on an egg sack and she didn't really have the heart to kill it. So she messaged me and asked if I wanted a female brown recluse with an egg sack. Although I didn't really want the egg sack, I did want the female brown recluse because I personally love making videos about brown recluse. I know they really freak a lot of people out, including my past self. I get it. So I specifically wanted the female so that I could make more videos about brown recluse. I feel like brown recluse have a very bad reputation and I am just here to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, my friend gave me the female brown recluse with the egg sac and fortunately slash unfortunately, she actually ate that egg sac, probably because it was disturbed, probably not going to be hatching or anything like that. Not that I really wanted the egg sack, I really just wanted her. And I thought that was the end of it, but it wasn't the end of it, it was just the beginning. <laughs> so after she ate her first egg sack, she ended up making another egg sack because if you didn't know, which I also didn't know, brown recluse can lay multiple clutches after just one pairing. So essentially she had one egg sac and then without even mating again, she laid me a second egg sac. So I thought, okay, I'll just pull the egg sac and see what happens. So that's what I did and I made a video about that. I ended up damaging the egg sac during the removal process. And to be quite honest, I wasn't like totally trying to avoid it because I was okay with not having any brown recluse babies because the, the the fact of the matter is I don't know what I would do with brown recluse babies. Nobody wants them, especially here where they're like literally notorious for infestation and stuff like that. So I just was like, yeah, if I, you know, pull the egg sac and it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't probably for the best, but Okay, we'll see. Here we are, <laughs> one month after posting my last brown recluse video, and we have yet another egg sac that makes three egg sacs, three. Stop it, get some help. So apparently not only can they double clutch, they can triple clutch. Now I'm starting to understand how this whole brown recluse infestation thing happens. Anyway, so once I discovered that she laid yet another egg sac for us, I ended up taping up the ventilation holes and just saying F it. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's in there. It looks like the egg sac is still intact. I do check on it. It's been about 40 days, which means they should be hatching. And here I am still wondering what the heck I'm gonna do with all these brown recluse. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go outside and we're going to yet again pull an egg sac. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if there's gonna be spiders in it. I don't know if there's just gonna be eggs. If there are slings, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but obviously I'm not keeping them, not giving them away. Technically, since she is a wild brown recluse and was paired with a wild male brown recluse, so I can just release them, but where to release them? I don't know. Damn nature, you scary. Okay, so sorry if there's any background noise, but we are filming in my mom's backyard. And that is because I really don't know what I'm gonna do with these brown recluse yet if they hatched. So she has webbed that whole area up again. And I think I'm just gonna have to pull the whole thing out again. If I can get the sack off or just the eggs, I'm gonna put them in here. This is sealed tight and they cannot climb up the sides of this. So it would be a secure place to put them until I figure out where exactly I'm going to release them. Also a quick disclaimer, if you guys ever have a spider or tarantula or something lay babies, of course never let those go in the wild. This female however is from the wild and she bred with a male from the wild. Plus brown recluse are native here so that is why I can release them. Ugh. I really don't know what I'm expecting. I'm gonna put this enclosure back together of course after we take it apart. <laughs> Okay, I see the female. Gosh, I can't believe it. She did it again. Check her out. Third egg sac. Goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Do not want that to fall over. <laughs> Definitely don't want to hurt her. Not sure if that sac is anywhere near hatching. Here's a cricket. Well, an old meal, basically. So this sac does look pretty big, but I don't see any movement. So I don't think 
that there are any spiders in it quite yet. I think it might just be eggs still, but again, I'm not really sure. And I think I am gonna pull it out and try to put the eggs in a separate container. But yeah, this sack, it looks like she put a bunch of like dirt and stuff on it. She is really, really gorgeous. Now question is how am I going to get this sack? I have a feeling she might take off, which I mean, obviously I don't blame her. This is probably really threatening. I wonder if I should just try to take it or if I should try to move her away from it. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let me see if I can just like push her away from it a little bit. Oh my God, I'm scared. I don't know what she's going to do. She's just like, not moving at all like she's just too scared to move and i have a feeling when she does move she's just gonna like bolt okay can i take this see i know if i pull it i'm just gonna break it open again but like i want her to be able to keep this hide it doesn't look like anything is in it actually are there even eggs in this Oh my God, she does not want to let go of it. I'm scared, let go of it. Guys, I don't know if there's even eggs in this and she won't let go. Oh, she let go, she let go. We got it, we got it, we got it. All right, we're gonna see if there's any eggs in it, but I don't, I don't know. Sticky. Okay, wow. I think we got it all and we're just going to carefully put her right back in the way that she was facing the same direction and everything. Uh, so nerve wracking. Yep, she's good down there. I don't see any remaining anything, so I think we're good. I'm so glad that's over. I had the ventilation all taped because I was afraid that it could hatch. And even though they're not really good climbers, I just wanted to be absolutely sure that if anything hatched in here, they would not go anywhere. So as for the eggs, this is what it is. I don't see anything that, uh, yeah, they're just, they're just eggs still. So I'm guessing that it might be a dud because really it should take about a month before it actually becomes spiders. So I don't know, kind of want to open it a little bit and get a better look. Yeah, I don't think these were any good, you guys. So weird. Let me see if I can give you guys a better look. See, it's just kind of like these like weird, like there are eggs in there, but it just, it seems, I don't know. It just seems like gooey. So yeah, I do not see this becoming anything. I'm pretty sure it's a dud, but I don't know. I'm gonna hang on to it for a minute and see if it becomes anything because I don't know. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna take her home and I'm gonna feed her because I just wanna fatten her up a little bit. Kind of seems exhausting to lay three whole egg sacks in the span of like two months. But again, these are really good at populating as we, uh, as we see. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Please stay well. Stay well. What is going on? <laughs>